Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. As you may um, notice, yes, I am wearing the exact same stuff that I was wearing in my last video. That's because I am. And that's also because I am a mom and I don't really have that much time for myself, so I like to try to just do as much as I can and get it done. So if you've stuck around for that terrible intro, um, today, as you can tell by the title, I am doing another Harry Potter project pan introduction. This is the Harry Potter project pan that's actually created by Pantastic Ladies um, on Facebook. And I was like, let's do it. Let's do a second one. I didn't think I was going to, but I was like, you know what, Harry Potter, let's just do it. So just moving right on in. I do have the prompts on my phone, so if you see me looking down, that's why. Um, let's see, so obviously the dates are going to be from, it looks like this is a four month project. This is from June 22nd till October 22nd. Um, we will be doing monthly updates. And the hashtag, if you guys want to join in, is hashtag HP Prisoner of Panning. I think this is super awesome, really uh, creative, and I really like it. And this was created by Amanda and Jessica, again, off of Pantastic Ladies on Facebook. So um, go ahead, follow Pantastic Ladies on Facebook. It's actually a really fun community. I just joined because I've heard a lot about it, and I think everybody's so nice there and it's really fun and I am so excited. Um, so I'm just going to read you what's here. It says, this is the theme of this year's Harry Potter project. I'm so excited. Hope you love it as much as I do. This can be beauty or makeup products. Just link to each prompt. Okay. So diving right in. The first prompt is Buckbeak. Something that saves you when you're in a hurry or a bad breakout. So I don't, I mean, I definitely break out like you can see it right here. Um, it's more of body breakouts though. So it's, it's not really anything I can do. Um, my breakouts are typically on my neck right here along my chin once in a while, I'll get them by my nose, but it's mostly like my neck, my chest and my back. Um, so I don't typically break out too much. So I just went with the part that says something that saves you when you're in a hurry. And lately I've been loving this anyway, but I want to hit some goals on this. So I chose the Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette. And I don't want to blind anybody. So as you can see, I've already hit pan in this shade. Um, my goal, this is something I can rely on um, to get me in a hurry, like with a quick eye look, because I only use two colors in this palette right now. First one, obviously I've already hit pan in this. My goal for this is just to extend the pan. Um, not necessarily finish it, but just definitely ex extend the pan. This is in the shade Tea Light. And then this one I want to hit pan. And this is in Deserted. So I want to hit pan in here, expand the pan in here. Um, and this definitely gets me in a hurry because again, those are the only two shades I've been using lately. I definitely want to get more use out of this palette later. But right now, that's all I need. Just those two shades. The next prompt is Marauder's Map, something that makes you feel mischievous or mischievous, however you want to say it. I think mischievous sounds like more intentional, you know. Um, so I've already made a swatch on my hand, but this is a mini or not even a mini. It's like a sample of the L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature Liquid Lip in, well, I don't know if that is the color, Rouge Signature. Either way, it is this crazy, insanely, like, awesome red color here, and it is a liquid lip. And that, I would say, it makes me feel mischievous because, I don't know, I feel like my attitude almost changes when I wear a red lip. And I don't wear red lip that often anymore because it is a little bit more high maintenance than, like, the lip glosses I've been using. And this is tiny. I, I do not expect to finish this. But I would say a number goal, I want to use this 10 times. And 10 times in four months, I feel like it's super doable. So 10 times, and I'll be happy with that. Um, let's see, the next one is Scabbers. Something you used to love, but now you hate. I don't want to say I hate this product. I just 
don't really see a need for it anymore and I don't really use it anymore because of that. So I do want to get this finished out of my collection. I just don't want it anymore. And that is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And you can see it's very well loved, very used. I am certainly not planning on hitting glass on this. Um, I would say I'm going to go with 40 times for Harry Potter's birthday. That is my goal. Just use it 40 times in four months and I think I'll be squared. So I'm okay with that. Again, I don't hate the product. I just, if I need an eye primer, I usually just use concealer. You know, kind of like double whammy the products. Um, but 40 times I feel like will be good for that. So the next prompt is the night bus. Uh, has a shrunken head, so something that gets rid of wrinkles. Now, I don't, I, I'm not gonna claim that this gets rid of wrinkles. Um, I honestly haven't been paying much attention to it, but I am gonna throw in this Mary Kay Time Wise Firming Eye Cream. Um, I have already gone through one of these. I have an empty that's gonna be going up here shortly that you'll see. And this definitely takes more than four months to use, I'll tell you that right now, because you just need one pump and that's almost more than enough. So, I'm just, I, I'm not gonna set a number goal for this because I use this every single night. Um, but I don't really need this in my collection. I just thought um, this would be a good one for the prompt. So I'm just gonna use it every single night. Um, maybe, maybe I'll get crazy and do it on some mornings as well to um, put underneath my makeup. So yeah gets rid of wrinkles we'll pretend it does I don't know if it does I'm not going to attest to that claim but this should be um, good because I already know the product I'm trying to get through them anyway and this will this will take more than four months I think the other one took me like eight I don't know <laughs> okay the next one is Professor Lupin so something moon related could be an eyeshadow or something you use only at night or anything you can think of I decided to go with the anything at night because I already have eyeshadows in this project and I don't want to overload myself, especially because since I don't have that much time to get ready in the morning, I don't want to, um, <laughs> I don't want to add to the stress of getting ready. So I went with something that I use at night and it is the Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. This is something new to my collection but it is also something that I only use at night because it is a resurfacing toner. Um, it says the skin types, I forget what C is, but D is dry. What is C? Combo, combo and dry skin. Wow, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, so I'm definitely gonna use this. I think in four months, you know what, I'm just gonna say 40 again. 40 uses in four months. That's definitely doable. The next one is Sirius Black. This one is kind of like my previous Harry Potter um, intro that I posted from Christina Chang, but I did pick a separate item. And this is an item you used to hate and now you love. Um, so I went with MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light. And the reason why I went with this is because I used to not like illuminating primers because when I put them on, um, I, I did think it like, it looked very scary to me. So as you can see, like, that's what it looks like. It does have this intense luminosity to it and it's very like gleamy. Like you could see the difference between here and here and it's got the same amount of light. Um, very gleamy and illuminating products just scared me because they were so intense. But once I used a foundation over it, I realized it does tame it down and it's really not that scary. So I'm going to add this in to the project and I'm going to say, let's see, four months. I'm going to say 10 uses for this because I don't wear liquid foundation as much um, just because it, to me, it's a little bit, uh, it takes longer to blend everything out. So. 10 uses for this. 
then the last prompt for this project is Dementors. And this one, <laughs> this one was funny to me, but it's an item that is gray or black, or you think it makes you look like death. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, that's a really good one. I don't think I would ever choose something that I felt made me look like death because then I wouldn't want to leave and I do still go to work even during COVID because I'm essential apparently, um, which is fine. But I was just like, why would I leave the house if it made me look like death, you know? So I just went with something that's black. And this is the vintage uh, Smoky Eye Pencil in Jet Black. Um, I think I got this from a BoxyCharm like a really long time ago because I know I didn't um, buy it because <laughs> I have a ton of black eyeliner pencils already. So this is about how long it is at the moment. I don't know why I'm doing that. Let's say from, from my palm. So it's going up to about, let's mark my finger right there. Goes up to right there. Um, I think my goal I mean, I'm sure I can do it more, so I think I, I'd rather prefer just adjusting my goal over time than um, reaching too far. So I think my first goal is going to be to get to the very first, like the top of this flower. Um, if I can do that, I would feel very satisfied, and then I would not mind adjusting my goal later on. So we'll go with that. Uh, that's it, actually, for my project pans. I'm really excited about it and um, I love that I'm doing two Harry Potter project pans and even though the serious black one from this project kind of matches um, the Peeves prompt from Christina Chang's project, I did want to choose something separate because I think I can do it. So I'm going to put the faith in myself and do it. If you want to join in, again, go on Facebook to the Fantastic Ladies Collab Facebook page and uh, go ahead and sign up. It's going to be really fun. I think it's going to be a blast. It's only a four-month project, so it's not really a whole big deal. And um, I don't know. I'm so excited for it, and I think it's going to make me feel really good, especially using this. I think this is going to be a great, great color. Um, it's going to make me feel sassy. It's going to make me feel like the boss bitch. I'm, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Let us do the damn thing. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like project panning and if you want to see more videos. Um, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.